Gauge heads up display. Check. Four door preferences from home interface. Ready? And three, two, one. Hey guys, I'm the Hacksmith, and on this episode of Make It Real, we've made the world's first full metal Iron Man helmet complete with a heads up display. And to prove that to you, well, watch this. Whoa, 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 stop! Big thank you to Honey for sponsoring this video. And thanks to them, we're gonna be giving away one of these replica Full Metal Iron Man helmets to you guys. Make sure you watch the full video for contest details. And don't forget to check out our other Make It Real projects. Bring me Now, instead of starting from scratch, I'm going to be modifying one of these replica metal Iron Man helmets that we got from the armorfactory.com. We actually saved $100 per helmet by using Honey. Honey automatically applied a coupon code and saved me 300 bucks. Now check out these helmets. They are awesome. Completely with servos that open and eyes that light up, they're the most realistic Iron Man helmets I've ever seen and we're gonna make them even better. We're going to add a heads up display on the inside of the mask, a night vision camera for some superhuman abilities, and a Raspberry Pi as the brain to run my very own Jarvis AI. Or maybe Friday. Good evening, boss. Now personally, I'm not actually too big of a fan of the red and gold, so I think we're gonna go a Mark II style, even though it's a Mark 42 helmet, and we're gonna polish this to a mirror finish. Hey, Riley. Alrighty, so while we get the rest of that helmet polished, let's take a look at the most important part of this build, actually adding a heads-up display to the helmet. We use something like this, a small heads-up display that's designed to go on a pair of glasses. These are pretty affordable and you can buy them off Amazon for a couple hundred bucks, I've put a link in the description below. But the other option is trying to build it more like a VR helmet, and we can do that by taking apart one of these Google Cardboards that we got from the YouTube space to get the lenses out. So if we take a look at the inside of the helmet, there's really not that much space. It looks like it might be possible to mount this display in here like this. So what we might have to do is take off this plastic casing, and so on the inside, there's a little ribbon connector, which means we can pretty much move this to wherever we want. That came apart quite easily, which is awesome. Let's see what else we can do. Ta-da! Look at that. Let's bring the Iron Man helmet back. Let's plug it back in and make sure it still works. All right, got our camera rig here. Camera says there's a TV output, and there we go. I can't believe it picks it up. Now we can look at actually mounting this inside the helmet. We can 3D print a little bracket to hold this in place perfectly. The real question is, will it work? So using this display, I think is going to work for this iteration, but I think the long-term goal is going to be to try and basically make a VR Iron Man helmet because then we can use it if you add some cameras, you've got your augmented reality, you can do a pass-through so you can see through. Um, I think it'll be really cool, but let's go forwards with this design because we don't have time to order something from China, unfortunately. So first of all, we're going to have to measure the existing component that we want to add to the helmet, so let's measure that real quick. All right, so now I'm going to use a laser cutter to cut out that template. Just going to export to DXF. Ooh, look at that first try. <laughs> that not work. It is actually slightly crooked. I don't know if you can tell. I need to adjust these dimensions for these screws slightly to make sure this this display isn't crooked. Let's try this one. There we go. Alright, then it's plugged back in. HDMI adapter. Oh, it works. <laughs> going like this. I can clearly see the screen and still look out of the helmet using my other eye. 
I need to offset it to the right slightly, but other than that, I can see through it and still look outside of the helmet. Sweet. We're almost done. It's actually a lot easier than I thought it would be. I was procrastinating this all day. Alright, just need a few revisions now. Alright, one last try. Alright, maybe this one will work. As you can see, the new one is shifted over. Yeah, that's cool. Alright, the display is centered now. Basically done this part. Hey Owen, come see this. Oh, oh, oh. Is it half? Oh, yeah. Isn't that cool? Dang. We can actually make a few different versions of these with different spacing. Cool. This is sweet. Oh, that's so cool. All right, so now it's time to design the camera mount part of this so the camera can actually attach right next to the little heads up display. It works. It works. Ah, crap. That's a tiny resistor. See that in my fingernail? That came off of this. I am done for the day. Now, the reason we're able to do this awesome project is all thanks to our video sponsor, Honey. It's a free browser extension that I've actually been using for years. But what is it? Well, I don't know about you guys, but when I'm shopping online, I'm always looking for the best deals to save money. Did you know there's an easy way to always make sure you're getting the best price possible? It's called Honey. It's a browser extension that automatically finds and applies the best coupon codes to your shopping cart to save you money. This means you'll always be getting the best deal without having to shop around to look for coupons. It works on tons of sites, even big ones like Amazon, eBay, Newegg, Best Buy, Walmart, and more. In fact, we used Honey to save $100 off these replica metal Iron Man helmets that we got from the armorfactory.com. And you can too, with the Honey extension. It even works on our merch store, where you can save 15% on all of our products. As you can see, it's super easy to save money with Honey. It's also super easy to install. In fact, it only takes two clicks. There's over 10 million people using it, and on average, it saves people around $28.61. Listen, there's literally no reason not to add Honey to your browser today. It's free to use and installs in just two clicks. Add Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash hacksmith. Still not convinced? If you download Honey right now using my link in the description below, you'll be entered into a giveaway to win one of these replica metal Iron Man helmets. You know you want one. Full contest details are in the description below. Fun fact, I have actually like never really used a Raspberry Pi before. So this is how you learn how to use a Raspberry Pi. You Google it. <gasps> oh my god, it worked. Yay! Hacksmith Industries. Right. Blah bamo. Carlos can actually solder this tiny, 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 tiny stuff. Which means I might not have to wait till tomorrow to get the new camera module. Watch awesome and behold. Hello. Oh, that's a good camera. Plus, it's got night vision. You turn that light off too. Oh yeah, god, my monitor was plugged into that. And the Pi! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we've just about figured out how we're gonna do the Raspberry Pi and the camera lens in the Iron Man helmet. So first of all, this comes with a little 18650 battery pack. And the whole thing actually just pops out like so. That could actually work. The question is, how are we actually gonna mount these? Now we have a balance port for our custom lithium ion 7 point uh, 4 volt battery pack. Now we need to find a spot for the power switch. We got this nice little push switch. Now all we have to do is make an adapter to go from the original battery pack to this to the switch. <laughs> and get voltage. Whoa. Yeah, the power just went out. But on the plus side, Amazon delivered some packages. They are extra night vision modules. Raspberry Pi Zeros! This is what we were working with, the Raspberry Pi 2. That's the Raspberry Pi Zero. That's a full 80 bit computer, which is actually powerful and faster than this one. Ooh, it's like it was made to be. All right, I'm gonna wait until the uh, power comes back on, I guess. Before we can use it, we actually have to um, load a boot image of Raspberry Pi onto it. We need a memory card. All right, first step, 
go ahead and install the OS onto the Raspberry Pi Zeros. Man, it's taking a while. Alright, so I got the camera plugged in now, so I'm just going to redo that setup that I did on the old Raspberry Pi, but now on the Pi Zero. We've enabled the camera, so hopefully we hit the run. Work, 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 work. Yeah! It's me! A little wireless keyboard. Wait a sec, I came down here for screws. Owen, keep polishing. Fully polished Iron Man helmet. So now we have the actual Iron Man helmet we're using, which means I can continue with this mess. There, in here. That is what we want, though. That's exactly what we want. Yeah. Bye, bye, bye now. Oh. And ship immediately. Let's try ordering some. All right. Okay, so I think we've uh, figured out how we're going to do this ribbon cable extension using this little adapter plus that thing we ordered. Hopefully it gets delivered by Thursday the latest. We keep working on the rest of the helmet and just like plug that in at the very end. What's that? It's the cancer thingy. Yay! Now we can go one of these cables. Sweet. So hopefully this little connector adapter works. Then install the camera in the helmet. Check the camera. Oh, James, you got you got some more stuff here. It's oh, a lot. Woo! Jeez. Oh, Ooh, the HDMI flat ribbon cable. So this will let us plug into the LCD screen for the eyepiece, and then plug into our Raspberry Pi. USB hub. I can plug this into the Raspberry Pi. You get a whole bunch of extra USB ports coming out the bottom of the Iron Man helmet, so you can literally jack in to add extra stuff. I'm gonna have to go into hardcore hacking mode. With any luck, that should be everything. I hope that shot. I guess. Camera is on. Now we press the button, and it turns off. All right, we have camera. Eight, seven, six. Four now. Yeah! <laughs> FN12. <gasps> and escape. That is a success. All right, that means we can install one of these into the helmet. Okay, so finally we have everything programmed, hopefully, and I think it's working. We ended up using a SD card called Friday. I'm gonna do one last test to make sure everything's up to snuff. Then we can start installing it into the helmet. Hypothetically, if I press FN F12. Yeah! Okay, so now that this works, we are going to make a backup of the OS. Preparing partitions. It's <gasps> a good sign. It's almost done. All right, after several uh, frustrating nights, I think we have the Pi Zero working properly. So now it's time for the ultimate test. Let's actually plug it into the display that we're going to use for the heads up display. Success. See stuff. All right, there we go. Now you can see what's on the screen. Now we press F12. The camera turns on. Ta-da! But wait, there's more. This is the future. You can play Minecraft in your Iron Man helmet. It works. <laughs> Which means now all we have to do is install the stuff into the helmet. But not this helmet. This helmet sucks. I buy a helmet, and we have the nice shiny one. All right, so there's one last little thing that we have to modify on the pair of Vufine glasses. Once we mount it, we're not gonna be able to press this on-off button very easily. So I've actually gotta take this shrink tube off, wire some leads off of the switch so we can trigger it outside of the helmet. Successfully extended the power switch leads on this board. I have to clean up the workspace and get the helmet out. Grab, I need some tape. Does anybody have any tape out there? I don't have any tape! Okay, went to the store, got some double-sided tape. I think I'm ready to finish building this. Got our electronics, our other electronics, and our other, other electronics. And we gotta fit that all inside the helmet.
So I've got the right side of the helmet pretty well complete. Those are all just the wires for like the power switch, the battery. That's the wire for the actual HUD. That's the wire for the Pi, so we'll plug into those. Uh, those are the servo wires that control the face helmet. These other ones are the LEDs for the eyes. Now, some people who have been following the project on social media have pointed out that having these lithium-ion batteries near my head is probably pretty dangerous. But let me ask you this. Why do you guys carry these miniature bombs in your pocket next to your junk every day? I mean, what happens if someone comes up and shanks you? Oh God! Well, why didn't we do that in the first place? So yeah, every day you're taking a big risk by carrying your phone. So now, we gotta put the Raspberry Pi in this other ear hole. So I think I have the Pi mounted into the left earpiece now. As you can see, it actually fits in here. Helmet actually attains the Pi nicely like that. And if we put a cover plate over top, there are two power wires right here, which need to go along the back and plug in right there. Okay. Pi is turned on. This is the first time we actually tested the power supply. Hells yeah, it's working. Now we need to take a look at uh, this guy's going. I want to shrink this down, so I'm actually going to try and remove this case. And look, it's nice and small, so we're just going to heat shrink that and call it a day. Come on. Plug in the pie. Yeah, it's working. Do a bit of cable management now. Yay! I think it works. Now I just need to mount it. I how many times I've said that in this video. It works! It works! Bingo! It's working. This works. It works. It's working. It's working. I think it works. To see the complete circuit diagram, check out our page on maker.io. There are links in the description below. HDMI to micro HDMI. Okay, that's not going anywhere. Never check to see if the eye hole will clear. It does not. All right. I ground down this eye hole a little bit. And try for the very first time. Yeah, it's working. The camera enables. That's what you see when you turn it on for the first time. Look how uh, the boom cranes do it. Alright, my, my eyes are right. So, cylinder. How do I get out of this thing? Ta da! That screen is surprisingly good. He's experiencing life for the first time inside the Iron Man helmet. Okay, so my programming, it worked. I can see through the camera. It feels normal ish. I'm gonna try and I'm gonna poke Bogdan, poke his eye out. Alright, ready? Ha! Ta da! Sometimes you gotta run before you can walk. Myself, which is tantamount to indentured servitude or prostitution, depending on what state you're in. Yeah. Do you know why we brought you here? Mm, no idea. Should I be scared? Um, yeah, James worked all Easter, and uh, now we get to see what he's working on. Wow, okay. Shiny. Ultron vibe, actually. Alright, so I'm gonna engage the camera. Oh wow. Hey guys. <laughs> oh, 
only that view. Oh, I can see. Oh, my coworkers. All right, let's turn off the lights real quick. Here's the flashlight of all seeing. Oh man. <laughs> that is neat. Wait, so you guys can't see anything right now? No. What? That's insane. That's an IR flashlight. It's actually invisible to the human eye, but with an IR camera, wow. it's just like a regular flashlight. That's cool. Is it like night vision? Yes. Whoa! It'd be great on the motorcycle, riding at night. No worries about deer popping out. Dude, this is insane. Cool. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> that is amazing. People are gonna love that. Next level. You feel very different inside it. Like, no, you'd actually feel like Iron Man. You don't even need the full rest of the suit. All right, so I gotta quickly update some of the Python code on the camera script. And I'll do that from the comfort of inside the helmet. A little, little switch right here. And that actually changes the uh, display mode of the heads up display. Uh, so you can do like zoom, full screen, or cropped. Normally you want full screen, but sometimes it changes. Okay, text editor, uh, 30. Okay, so I've just updated the code. Uh, you could only trigger the camera 10 times before the program would shut down. And we just did that just in case something screwed up. We didn't want to be in an endless loop in the program. And then two, also changed the duration of the camera to uh, two minutes. So when you turn the camera on, you get night vision for two minutes, then it turns off and you have to enable it again. And again, we can change all those things in the Python code, which we'll maybe share in the description below. I don't know, like seriously, this was a really hard project and I would not recommend doing it. <laughs> but it's so cool. What a beautiful day to wear an Iron Man helmet. <laughs> All right, let's uh, play a prank on the, the, uh, the rest of the guys. Uh, turn off all the lights in the garage. It's pretty dark in here. But I have a flashlight. Hey, where the lights went out? Hey, is there another power outage? What's going on? Damn trees. Oh, Ed, fix this. I'll bet you they forgot to pay the electric bill. That's what's going on. Jeez, can't you get a damn thing around here? Trip over something. Anybody have a flashlight? What the crap? Oh my god! Oh! Oh! <laughs> Jesus, Jordy! I see everything! I uh, hey look, it's the cameraman. Can you see me? Hello. Yes. You are pretty scary. Whew. You're looking bad. Okay. Oh, it's dark in here. Really? New hacksmith policy, everyone works in there. Awesome! Here are your video clips. Thank you. Alright, this has got to be one of my favorite projects now. And we've made a lot of cool stuff. Anyway, we're hoping to add a ton more tech to it in upcoming videos. Let us know in the comments below what you'd like to see added to the helmet. We might even also integrate the helmet into other projects, like wearing it while piloting this giant mech. Oh yeah. Now, in case you guys haven't been following my channel, I actually got to try flying like Iron Man a few weeks ago in California with Gravity Industries. And, as a gift to Richard Browning, the real-life Tony Stark, I also brought him one of these helmets. Uh, this is probably prototype 25 of just this armor, this pair of arm assemblies. When you get to iteration 42, <laughs> I have something for you. 42, right. So th this is a full metal Iron Man helmet. Oh, that's, that's insane. Oh, no way. You're kidding. That's so cool. Perfect. <laughs> oh. Uh, uh. There we go. <laughs> Which means Richard is well on his way to having the world's first complete Iron Man suit. So it just goes to show, Iron Man tech is possible and real. Enjoy. Jarvis, you there? At your service, sir. Do a weather and ATC check. Sir, there are still terabytes of calculations needed before an actual flight is a Jarvis, sometimes you gotta run before you can walk. Importing preferences and calibrating virtual environment. Check on control surfaces. As you wish. Ready? 
in three, two, one. I'm looking through like a tiny little spit going, oh, there's concrete people, how high am I? Doing the set night is going to be brilliant. Yeah, easy, as long as I can keep a visual on something useful. You're going straight to Edge, I'm like, oh. Truth is, I am Iron Man. <laughs> Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this project as much as my team and I did. Don't forget to enter the giveaway by installing Honey using my link below. Also, if you're interested in trying to build one of these helmets yourself, I will be typing up some additional explanations about it with links to all the parts I use for both our Patreon and YouTube members who support the channel. Now, I've got to go see Endgame. I missed the premiere because I was working on this video.